Good day everyone, back for another video of the Avon Descent 2023 River Guide series. And this one, we are here at Cobbler Pool. Finish of the first day of the race. In fact, you'll see this wire front up behind me here. That is the official finish line of day one and start line of day two. I'll have a big sign over here saying finish on day one and then they'll change that overnight for a sign that says start and it's a good idea to stop paddling here when you are coming down from northern and then <laughs> obviously start the next day again unlike the one man who did not know to stop here and kept paddling he was in a relay team had only just jumped in uh, up at Jimpiting, i believe kept paddling past the finish one year and stopped at wayunga another was it 35 k's 40 k's later <laughs> at about six o'clock at night when it got dark. So he was okay, but uh, race organizers were a little bit worried having lost a competitor for four hours. So this is the finish of the day. Uh, you've still got two kilometers of tea trees to go. So when you've come down from Wetherill Park, you've done approximately 15, I think, kilometers of tea trees up to here. And it is uh, getting more difficult. There is a, a difficult section above us, but the most difficult part of the tea trees is still to come. Last 2.5 kilometers, which you'll see in the videos of uh, helmet cam, of uh, paddling them. And uh, hopefully by now, uh, from the four videos up to now, and probably one more video coming, you will, uh, you'll be able to piece together the correct route through the entire trees. Now, there is a little chute upstream of Cobbler Pool here called Leatherheads Rapids. You'll see it in the, uh, in the, in the helmet camera videos. Always go the extreme right, like the rest of the tea trees, when in doubt, head to the right. So there are two ways down Leatherheads. There's a bit of a, a bit of a uh, island in the middle and then and then two channels left and right. And obviously you'll see at the top, the left hand one has a, has a, a lip at the top that doesn't look nice. Right hand way is nice and then a little bit of a side to side, but you'll, uh, you'll be fine if you've uh, got your brace stroke worked out by now. So I wanted to come here and just show you guys that this is not the end of the tea trees and it is by no means the end of the hard part of the valley. You've got all the rapids to come still, so you'll uh, get to here obviously quite tired and then start again here fresh in the morning. So this will be a section where the, the boats will become bunched up again in the morning and you'll need to know the section downstream of here very well so that when there's a traffic jam, if there's a traffic jam in front of you, you'll be able to take those alternate channels and other ways down the river uh, in case you find a blockage in front of you. So obviously we're going to head for the river right here and then uh, follow the helmet camera videos from that point on. <laughs> so uh, this, is, this is the spot. Your boats will be in the flagging area behind you here. Power boats to my left, paddlers to the right. And um, they'll be secured here overnight with security and a street light there as well by the looks of things <laughs> on 24 hours a day. Um, so that's about all there is to see here. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, which will be from Possils Ford. Bye!